time out. Mm-hmm. Time out here. Uh, let's take a time out and uh, role play. What do you know about me so far? Just recap it for me. What do you know about me so far, Amina? I know you was saying a lot uh, about the divorce. You talked about that, right. and you started talking about how nice right. your house was and everything. Right. right. And uh, what else do you know about me? What do, What do I want to do? You like to talk me? a lot. What's What's my pain? Uh, do I have Do I have a need or a greed? They seem kind of greedy to me. <laughs> Why do you say that? I mean, it, it just they didn't. They seem like they went through a divorce, but it's really not a big deal to them whether they get out or not. To me, they want to move to a smaller apartment. However, uh, it didn't seem like they were pressed. Okay, so on a scale of one to ten, where would you put me? Probably a five. Probably a five. Okay. Now, do you think I have a tendency to go down towards a one or up towards a ten? Where do you think I might be able to go here? Is this not going so good? Probably down towards the one. Down towards the one? Okay. Hmm. Let me ask you a question. What would have happened in this conversation if – before you kind of moved into the clothes or, or, or the question about, you know, could I do business today? You know, um, what, what would have happened if you had said, so let me make sure I understand. You've lived there for uh, several, several years, but you've lived there the last 18 months, pr- probably, probably by yourself. Um, you're ready to get out on your own and do something, you know, different with your life. And so let me ask you, Am I understanding it right? And and is it is it just the house is is too much for you right now, or or what what's really going on here? You see what I mean? I'm digging a little bit. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, so nothing wrong with digging a little bit because remember, everybody at first is going to give you the the it's like the iceberg, you know, um, the 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 you only see ten percent of the iceberg above the water, and then below the surface of the water, there's this humongous mountain of ice and that's kind of how people are too so when when you're on the phone with people and i'm telling you oh yes i went through a divorce and oh i just gotta get on with my life and move on and you you bonded with me for a moment you said you knew somebody that went through this and it could be a tough experience and and then we went on but you're starting to get the feeling that i'm not real motivated yeah, I did. Yeah, so you want to ask the question, you know, l- let me make sure I understand is, you know, you're wanting to get out of this. Are you wanting to just get out of this house to get on with your life or what's, is that, do I understand that right? You see what I'm doing is I'm trying to get him to tell me that it hurts or I'm trying to get him to tell me that he needs to move or wants to move so bad or I'm trying to get him to tell me that he has to move because he can't afford the payment anymore. You see what I mean? So, yeah. So you want to, you want to try to turn the screw a little bit and it's okay to ask more questions, especially if I'm a talkative kind of guy. Right. Uh And what you're going to do is by asking me questions and getting me to talk more, you're going to get me to sell myself. (laughs) Okay. So let's back up to the qualification section. Let's start over and, and keep this in mind and try to try to conversate with me and draw me in and get me to talk about my emotional needs and greeds here. Because okay. so far, so far I've just given you surface level. It feels like I've given you something more than that because I talked about the divorce and I talked about the house and then the 18 months and how I want to get on with my life a little bit. But and you said you related to me and you understood but you didn't turn the screws too tight. Really. You didn't turn it enough where I'm now telling you, Oh gosh, you know, this house. Yeah. Well, the payment sucks. Yeah. I live in here and it's a big old house all by myself. And I got this $1,800 a month payment and I really just want to get out of here away from all these memories and the problems with the money and the debts. And the... you know what I mean? Turn the screw a little bit, get me to talk if you can. Okay. Some people you're not going to get to talk. They're just clams. They clam up, you know, but the, but the ones that, that can talk and will talk, get them to start talking about how it hurts or what they need or what their greed is. <clears throat> if you suspected, like you said, that I am greedy, then it would be okay for you to say, 
So let me understand. You really want to sell this house and get into an apartment because you're going to make a bunch of money when you sell that, right? You see what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm turning yeah. the screw a little bit, you know, like what are you, are you a greedy son of a gun or are you, are you needing something needing out for another reason? Okay. You see where I'm going with this? It sounds yeah. complicated, but it's not. It's just, it's just pausing for a minute and reflecting. Tell me that one question that you ask again. Say that again. The one question that you ask again to turn the screw. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, uh, you know, let me understand. Let me make sure I understand you correctly. You're, you're wanting, I, you're wanting to sell the house for 160,000. You think it's worth 170, but really you're ready to do something today because you're ready to get out of the, the this house. Is it because of the payment? I wasn't sure. Were you saying the payments a lot or was it just the memories or, or is it the house itself or what, what I'm playing dumb. You see what I mean? Yeah. Can you can, explain to me more what you mean? I'm dumb. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Let's go back to the qualification section. Okay. Let's start there. You're doing great, Amina. Okay. <laughs> okay. Qualification so, uh, section. Tell me, uh, uh, ask me, you know, ask me the first question. Okay. I uh, saw your property online. Uh, it looks really nice. Why did you want to sell um, the house? Oh, well, I've lived there for six or seven years. And one, you know, we got divorced about 18 months ago. The, the ex-wife's already gone, moved out, moved on. She's got a new man, everything, you know, and I'm, I'm sitting around here making this payment and uh, living in this big house. And I, I, I really just ready to get on with my life. Um, you know, honestly, I, <laughs> I feel like I have weathered the storm and it's just time to maybe, I don't know. I, th I just think something simpler would be better for me, you know? So uh, let me understand what you're saying. You're saying that your wife um, left you at the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay. It's okay to continue on with the questions, like go on with, uh, you know, okay, oh, well, oh, man. Bond, bond, okay, bond with me, say, oh, yeah, I've got a buddy that went through the I did, I, I, I was totally messed stuff. that up. And then, and then find out about the money, right, and then find out about, you know, my timing. It, that you're not trying to do something right away, are you, because I'm looking to do something right away. You know, you know you're phrasing okay. it more like, uh, and maybe you're reading it right off the page I wrote, maybe I wrote it that way, but um, you're, you're phrasing it something like, you know, um, if, you know, if everything seemed good, would you be comfortable doing business with me today? Uh, really what you're going for is, is, Hey, I'm looking to do something pretty quick. Are you looking to do something pretty quick or is this something you're trying to do like next year? Or what, 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 what is your time, time frame here and what needs to happen in order for, for this to work? Okay. You see where I'm going with, with that? All right. So the first question you asked me, I told you live there six, seven years, been divorced 18 months, want to get out, move out maybe get an apartment, something more simple, move on with my life. Okay. Next question. Go. Okay. Uh, so how much are you looking to get from the house and what do you think it's worth? Um, I think it's worth about 170, 175 is probably what I would have it listed with. I, I have a buddy that's a realtor and they told me that's what they would list it for. But, um, you know, so I'm asking 160 because I'm not using a realtor. I'm, I'm doing this for sale by owner and, you know, trying to, trying to make it, work without a realtor being involved i might end up having to put it on the market i don't know really we'll, we'll, we'll see i've had a few people call on it but but no takers you know i just don't want to have to try to figure out how to pay a realtor you know what i mean yeah i understand okay so um if i'm able to make you an offer today uh that you're comfortable with uh would you be prepared to do business today okay follow that up with because i'm kind of in a hurry to buy something Okay. Put, okay. A little, put a little urgency on it. Don't, don't just put all the pressure on me. Make it sound like you're, you're in a hurry too. And you want to know, or am I in the same hurry you're in, you know? Okay. So ask that question one more time. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm writing it down. You're doing good. You're doing good. Get better. Every time we do this, every single time. Okay, so um, if I make you an offer today that you're comfortable with, uh, are you ready to do business today? Uh, I'm, I'm ready to do business. Okay, great. <laughs> great. You know, I would love to do something right away, man. I mean, I, um, 
yeah, are, are you want to make an offer on it? Oh, uh, let don't, me don't, find for, this. don't forget what I said about going back and saying. That's what I'm trying to get okay. back. <laughs> okay. 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 So, uh, let me understand what you're saying here. Basically, uh, you and your wife divorced. Uh, you've been living there for about 18 months by yourself. You're ready to uh, move on with your life. Uh, are you possibly tired of making the high payments? Do you need to downsize? Or is it more of an emotional thing where you're just tired of the same surroundings and you just want to change. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it one more time. This time get a little smoother with it. It was the first time out of the gate. So don't, don't take like, don't take like my criticism to be <laughs> harsh. It's not, it's, it's, we're okay. just practicing. So let's do it over again. This time make it a little more conversational. Hey, Mr. Homeowner. Um, I think I would like to make an offer on this property, but let me make sure I understand where you're coming from. Um, you've lived there for six or seven years. You've been been divorced about 18 months and you're just ready to get out uh, of the property. Is it because something's wrong with the property or is it the emotional uh, stuff or is it maybe the payments a lot? You see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm, I'm digging a little bit and it's okay because you need to dig because I'm a five, right? If right. I was, if I was an eight or a nine, what do you do then? I mean, uh, if it was an eight or a nine, I would go ahead on to the to the next uh, yes portion of the script. <laughs> you go for it, but because yep. I'm a five, you're not ready to go for it yet, right? Right. So you need to you need to dig a little bit. And how do you dig? You ask questions. Try to That's find it. out. That's it. <laughs> That's it by asking questions. All right now. It shouldn't be offensive to the guy because I'm the dude that even – I have already been talking about this stuff, right? I'm the guy that said all this. You're just recapping, asking me to clarify myself and basically to, to show you where it hurts and what the deal really is so that you can make a, a, an offer on the property that makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's take it back to the qualification section and let's do it one more time. <laughs> All right. Okay. You did the agenda successfully. Okay. I agreed. Now let's start with the house. Go on, go okay. on with the questions. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, so I saw your property online. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, why, why did you want to sell it again? Well, you know, me and my, I've lived there about six or seven years. My wife and I split about 18 months ago and I really, you know, I've just been living here by myself. She's already moved on, lives in another place, got, got a, she's already got another family and everything. And I'm, I'm, I'm basically just sitting here trying to get out of this house because I'm time, I'm ready to move on. You know, like I'm tired of sitting here, uh, in this house. I think I just want to get an apartment to be honest with you. And, 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 it, and, it, and also I'm, I'm about two payments behind. See, you gave me a little bit more information that time. <laughs> See, every time you get somebody to talk, they say something. Right. Right. So, yeah. so the, your objective is, is to get me to talk, but not just talk about the paint color and the porch and the roof and the, you know, who gives a, sh you know, about that stuff a little bit, but really you want me to talk about my needs my hurts, my needs, what I got to have, I need this. And you want me to talk about my wants, my greeds, why I need this. Okay. So get me to talk. Cause I'll say something. All right. So now this time I gave you just a smidgen bit more than I had in the previous role play. So go on to the next, uh, go ahead. Uh, let me finish that phrase. That'll help you move into your transition. Uh, okay. So yeah, I'm just ready to, you know, I'm ready to get, I'm behind a couple payments. I'm just ready to get, you know, I, I need to get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I I know my cousin uh went through the same situation. It was very unfortunate. Uh they uh ended up getting divorced from their mate and then they couldn't keep up with the payments. Unfortunately, they ended up getting into a foreclosure situation cuz they just they just couldn't afford the house anymore. Perfect. Perfect. I've never heard it better in my life. Okay? Very very good. Okay? You're, you are using the power of suggestion, okay? You are suggesting to this guy 
that he might need to do something because if he's two payments behind already, foreclosure is on the horizon, correct? But you didn't come right out and just blast him with that. Oh, you're going to get foreclosed on. You told a story. You bonded with me. You said this guy you knew, he went through this, ended up in a foreclosure deal. Oh, yeah, you know what? I, I don't think that's going to happen to me back in the role play. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I, I got some money coming here in a couple months, and I think I'll be able to catch up then. But really, I, I really just it's, I just need to get out of here because of the, the, the entire – I feel like it's holding me back. If that, you know, like everybody's moved on except me. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? Yeah, you just want to change. I understand you want to change. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Definitely need a change. Yeah, for sure. So that's why I'm selling. Okay, I understand. So uh, how much do you want to get out of it, and what do you think uh, is currently worth? Okay, another thing you're going to want to ask me now about the money is what? I let a cat out of the bag, and now you want to know something you got else. Money you said they said you got money coming, but I kind of wanted to say, "What if the money doesn't come through in time for that date?" But I didn't, I didn't know how to word it. That would have been perfectly worded, just that way. But there's another thing you want to know now too: how much is the how much coming? How much is the payment? Right. Oh, okay. I said I'm two payments okay. behind. How much? Well, that doesn't seem too like too much. Let me ask you a question, Mr. Homeowner. What what are you asking for the property? What do you think it's worth? And what's your payment every month? Okay. You see what I mean? Because now I'm yeah, setting him up a little bit. So We're going to talk about payments and everything. All right. He already opened the bag, right? Why is it important for me to know what his payment is? Well, it's important for you so you know – what to do for the tenant buyer and everything, if you would be able to market the property for the yeah, rental value. Exactly. Exactly. Also, I'm setting him up because now I'm going to ask him if he would be willing to rent me the place for what his payment is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If I can catch up your, if I can catch up your payment, uh, your two payments behind and, um, uh, <laughs> put a good person in there, take care of the place and, and, and continue to make that payment every month. Would you be willing to rent it to me for a couple of years before I buy it? You see how he has set himself up for this already. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So you mentioned the word payment. So you kind of just, yeah, on. see, he's, I'm all, I'm all about the payment because I want to know if he'll sell it to me for what the payment is. I'm, don't I? I mean, really, that's the ultimate ob objective. Okay, back to the scale, one through ten. I was a five, but because you've been asking me these questions and I've been talking more, now where am I? Uh, I would say probably a seven. Yeah. And the reason I say it. Go ahead. Reason why. The reason I say it now is because I know that he is behind, but he might still have in his mind, well, I got this money coming. So he may not say, well, I got to just move now because he might be counting on that money. Yeah. That's the only reason I wouldn't say he's like a nine. Yeah. Yeah. He might he be a dummy. Money. You're right. <laughs> he might be a dummy. Uh, that's exactly right. He might be counting on a, on a bird that's not even in the bush yet. Like it's like two months away. It's, it's migrated South and it might not make it back North in time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know a couple months. So that statement that you were going to make that you didn't, cause you said you didn't know how to phrase it, which you ended up phrasing perfectly. That, that, that right there, would, that's another great way to turn the screw. Let's do it one more time. Let's go through the qualification section. All right. You asked me, I'm going to say, yeah, the property is lived there six, seven years. It looks like, uh, you know, I've been divorced about 18 months and everything here is in great shape. I just want to get out because, you know, the whole, the whole house thing and everybody else has moved on with their lives. And I, I want to move on with my life. And I'm sitting here in this big house. I don't need with this payment. And I've, I'm already like, the, you know, I'm, I'm a couple of months behind, to be honest with you on the payment. And I just need to do something. I can't, I don't even have enough equity to hire a realtor. So I got oh. a buddy that told me what it was worth. He said it was worth 170. I'm asking 160. Oh, 
So, yeah, um, that's a very unfortunate situation. I had a cousin that went through something similar to what you went through, and they just, they uh, they got divorced. Uh, they kept trying to hold on to the house and hold on, but, you know, it just didn't work out. They had to end up foreclosing on the house. Time ran out. Yeah, yeah. see, I don't want to see that happen. I, I don't want that to happen. And here in a couple months, I, I got some money on the way, and, uh, you know, if, I, if all that works out, I, I'll, I'll probably be able to catch up and everything. It's just, you know, right now I'm kind of in a, oh, I'm kind of down right now, you know? Like, I don't feel, I don't feel like my old self. And I, I think I just need to get out of here and start something fresh. Yeah, I understand. Uh, so, uh, let me ask you this. I'm not really, I'm going to have to think about, I'm not really sure if we'd be able to do it, but uh, if we were able to possibly lease your house. Okay. Uh, Go cover back. Payment for you. Pause for a second. Go back and, and, and poke the pain parts. Okay. Let me make sure I understand you correctly, Mr. Homeowner. Um, you said you wanted to, you've lived there for a bit. You wanted to move out because you're, you've been basically separated from your wife for 18 months and it's time to move on. You're a couple, couple payments behind it. It's pretty, it's pretty much a big, it's a, it's a big house and you're, you're kind of feeling a little lost in it. And, uh, I, I think I understand. Is, is, do I understand you correctly? Is, is that why you're wanting to, to, to move? You see what I'm doing? I'm, I went back and recapped the pain and I'm trying to get him to even tell me, just reconfirm with me. Yes. I would love to do something with someone today because this house sucks. <laughs> Having this house in my life sucks. Okay. You know, you want me to say that if you could get me to, you know? Okay. So before you go into the, the, that question, remember to recap with me. Remember, get me, get me, turn the screw a little bit, get me to talk a little more about, oh yeah, that's, that's definitely what I want to get out of here. You know, plus I'm two months behind. You might even say, you know, so the, the, the two payments um, that are behind, do you, do you think that you're going to be able to, to pick up where you left off or is it going to continue to go, go behind? <laughs> it takes guts. I mean, uh, it takes guts to ask a question like that, but do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Because it's going to turn the screw a little bit. It's going to make me talk even more about how much it hurts. Okay. You're a very nice person, Amina. And a very, and, and a very nice person is a wonderful thing to be but in this particular call you want to put aside some of those things that may be a little bit uncomfortable to talk about and talk about them because they're uncomfortable situations in my life not yours so let's talk about them <laughs> they're in my life all right so um it's okay i've already been talking about it it's okay to bring it up so so tie me down a little harder i'm a seven you want to see if you can get me to a nine Okay. You got me from a five to a seven. Now get me from a seven to a nine or a 10 and close me. Uh, okay. So Go. Uh, <laughs> let me understand what you're going through a little bit. Uh, I know that you uh, have been separated from your wife for 18 months. You've been living there. Uh, you're falling behind in your payments. So let me ask you this. Uh, if, uh, what are you what are you possibly going to do if uh the money comes through but then after that time frame you run out of uh, messed up so what are you going to do uh i think you're doing great keep it time? keep it going you're doing great ask me again one more time so let me understand uh i want to make sure we're on the same page here i understand that you've been separated from your wife for 18 months uh you've fallen behind a couple of payments uh you have some potential money coming. So what are you going to do if the money just doesn't come on time? Well, I mean, I guess that's a possibility. Uh, I'm try That's why I'm trying to sell the house. That's why I'm trying to sell it. I want to sell this place. So hopefully I'll have it sold by then. We'll see. Okay. So let me ask you this. If, if I can get your payments covered, uh, lease the house from you for 36 months and then give you your asking price at the end of that term. Is that something you will be willing to do or possibly not? 
I love it. I love it. That was awesome. Do you feel the money coming? It's coming. It's coming. Because you just talked me in to doing something creative I'd never even thought about doing. Yep. And here's this money on the way to Amina. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Okay. You hear that? You hear that? Can you hear it? Yep, I hear it. <laughs> well, all right. That's important. Got to hear that stuff. Yeah, good job. Excellent job. Super good job. I mean, wonderful job. So let's let's do let, let's continue on, and I'll let you close me the rest of the way. Yeah, it seems like uh, you want to rent the house for thirty six months. You say. So I'd be, and then buy it, right? Yep, 36 months and then uh, buy the house. Okay, well, are you going to be living there? Uh, no, I won't be living there. Like I said, I'm an investor, so uh, what I would do is I would have a tenant uh, to move in. Perfect, perfect. Yes, perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, I want to put some good people in there. I'm going to make a little money, but I also want to be a solution for you. Does that seem unreasonable? Is that a deal breaker? That's what I say. Okay, super good job. Uh, no, I, I think uh, that makes sense. And uh, But 36 months seems like an awful long time. I feel like I'd still be tied to this. I mean, I'd rather just sell it, but um, 36 months. Geez, I wish there was something. I mean, you can't do it in 12. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to. Think on that one, Nick. Eh? We, uh, you know what? We'll try it. I'm gonna make you an offer for uh, twelve months, cover your payments, and we'll just roll with the punch. And I really. Okay, wait. here's what I'd have done. Here's what I'd have done. I'd have done exactly what you did, and I'd have went. Hmm. Well. I said 36 and you said 12. How about we split the difference and do 24? Yeah, Does that seem more that comfortable for you? Yeah, that's a good one. You got it. Okay, do it again one more time. <laughs> All right. Say that last line one more time. Okay, so 12 months, that's, I don't know about that. That's kind of, that's kind of pushing it for us. Uh, you want to go to 12, I mean, the 12 months, I want the 36. Uh, I might possibly be able to meet you in the middle at the 24 months. Uh, is that something that would be Is that cool. something you could possibly do? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I think we could do that. I think we could do 24 months. Sure, let's, let's do 24 months. Um, and uh, the payment would be like, what, what's the, wait, what, wait a minute, what's the payment every month? What would, it, what would that be? I haven't rented my house out before, so I'm not sure. Okay, so the payment every month would uh, come to you or your mortgage company uh, for what the payment is. Oh, so you just be paying my mortgage, basically? Yes. Does that include so you, the, the taxes and insurance and all that stuff, too? Yes. And, and what about the two payments that, I, that I've missed already? Would, when, would you be making those up, or how would that work? Well, I'll be able to uh, get that to you as well. Okay. Um, all right. I, I think everything seems like it might work. Um, what do we, what do we do next? Uh, well, we, uh, we just start the paperwork and get it going. Okay. All right. So how do I do that? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you some Great. information, your Great. email. Yes. 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 Now, now finish it up like this, Amina. Now, if you, when you get the paperwork in your email, which I'm going to email you here in just a few minutes, when you get that, um, you're probably going to go over it. You're probably going to have some more questions. Um, I might even have some more questions. So let's go ahead and talk again tonight at 830. And if everything's comfortable for you at 830 and everything makes sense, what, what do we do then? What happens next? Finish it up like that. What are you doing when you say something like that, Amina? 
Um, you I've, or, I've already said things. yes. You've already basically got the deal, right? Right. So why would you right. bother to go in and try to set up an appointment tonight and reschedule and what happens next and all this shit? Why would you do that? You got to do your homework. Uh, what I'm doing sure in the you true, okay, but also I'm strengthening my clothes, okay. I've already said yes and all this. Now tonight, what I'm doing is I'm setting him up at eight thirty to answer all of his questions. And if I answer his questions successfully, I want him to tell me that at eight thirty tonight he's going to make a decision and we're going to do the paperwork. You see what I'm getting at? Like, I don't want to meet with you again tonight at eight thirty, and then you tell me you got to talk to your ex-wife, and then you got to call the priest, and you know. Right. So, so, okay, so I'm going to send you the paperwork, Mister Homeowner. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk with you again at eight thirty tonight, uh, give you a chance to look it over. You'll probably have a few questions. I'll probably have a few questions, and then if everything's comfortable for you and everything makes sense, uh, what happens then? You see what I'm doing? I'm getting him to tell right. me. I will do the deal with you if it makes sense tonight at 830. <laughs> you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay. You're basically setting the agenda. Yes, I'm setting it. I'm already I'm setting the agenda for the next call already. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and, and set the agenda for the next call. Hey, before I hop off here, let me ask you one more thing. Go ahead. Uh what would you like to ask? No, no, no. Go ahead. Ask me. I'm the homeowner. You're calling. I just gave you my email address. You're going to send me some paperwork. And before you say goodbye, you're going to tell me one more thing. You're going to ask me one more. Okay. Thing. So let me ask you one thing. Um, are you, do you have to consult with anyone else uh, prior to making your final decision? Uh, do you think you could maybe have already spoken with them prior to our 830 phone call? Okay. So you want to talk tonight at 830? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, it, I, it's just me. It's just me. Okay. All right. So, so, so ask me, Amina. So what happens then if everything, if I answer all your questions and everything? Oh, makes I'm sense? sorry. So what happens if I, so what happens if I ask, if I, um, answer all your questions, uh, would you be ready at eight 30 to sign the paperwork tonight? <laughs> okay. That's one way of getting right to it, but good job. And, and you want to practice tying that and setting the agenda for the next call so that you can close him up on the next call, get that paperwork signed. Uh, because, you know, so he might sign the paperwork this afternoon or but most likely tonight at 830 when you follow up, you'll answer a couple questions. You'll chit chat with him. You'll bond with him a little bit. And then boom, done. Shut up. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.